Schirm naar beneden. Nu dacht ik. Zal ik hem ook even delen op de mijnen? Nee, niet nodig. Want jouw livestream niet. Dat is ook niet. Dat kan. Ik ben bij jou in de buurt. We gaan even heen en weer lopen. Ik heb ook allemaal buiten geslapen, maar natuurlijk weer tentjes. Nou, kan. Ja, het valt nu te doen. Het zijn goede tenten. Niet uit 16, 27, dus dat valt weer mee. Alright, alright. What's up, buddy? And thanks for the heart. Welcome back. I need to clean the camera. <laughs> There. Now you guys are clean. There we go. Nothing more here. What's up guys? Welcome, welcome. Play. Mm, comfortable, toch? Kan je op je rug meenemen? Nou ja, comfortable is wel. Wij hebben de meer moderne nu, maar uh, die hebben we ook nog op zolder liggen trouwens. Ja. Hi guys, what's up? You walk around or through? You walk by the right side here over the green. Yeah, it's streaming out. Yeah. Mm. No. Many languages. It like so leuk. Op een gegeven moment ga je elkaar leren kennen. Oh, ben je er ook weer? Well, they're just groups traveling together, probably. Finland, no, Sweden, no, see? No. Yeah. It has the where they're from. Finland, Sweden, camp. Welcome guys to 1627. I'm not gonna keep answering where is it. You will find out. I don't know, we can walk this way. Let's uh, follow them. Alright, then go. No hesitation. <laughs> oh, it's like the smell of campfire. Yeah. It's comfortable. Thank you. It's very comfortable. <laughs> mm. We took those two. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Nederlander. Not the only one way to find out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The sun is nice, so. <laughs> Gotta stay warm. What's up, guys? Clickbait? There's no clickbait here. I hope you're doing well. Am I in costume? No, these are professionals, guys. I couldn't be even close to them. From 18 countries. What is 1627? That's the year we are in right now. Time traveling TikToker. I know, it's amazing. What's up, Trinity? Hope you're doing well. Even kijken. Ja, ze gaan zo lopen, maar dus als ze verderop lopen, komen ze eraan. Ja, yeah. let's uh, walk through. Let's walk through the village, guys. Hope you're doing well. Going to, to the battlefield. Today we have an IRL live stream. Like I said many times, no challenge today. Oh, daar kijken. I need to use the tripod, it's more stable. What's up guys, good morning. Yes, it is a 1927 parade festival but there's also going to be a battle we're walking towards the battlefield mm -hmm. we are walking towards the battlefield I can't keep it stable I need a tripod there we go just look at the design what happened in Holland in 1627 there was a fight there was a war with the Spanish the Spanish occupied the Netherlands and uh, at least this part and there was a big battle hmm. Oh yeah, comfortable. Good afternoon. No rush. Exactly. I am tall. Yeah, I can see everything. <laughs> Did Holland win? I actually don't know. Did they win this one? Probably because we're celebrating it, yes. guys. So I'm gonna assume we won. <laughs> it was occupied by the Spanish. And yeah, then the I Dutch said it. Game. Yes. A battle, yes, you will see a battle, guys. Patience. Let me turn the camera so you know it's me. Hi. No, nobody there. Nog niet. To wacht op de push. Annual, biannual. Spain was like huge, the Netherlands was in that time also huge. This was the time of the VOC, so we were much bigger than Spain. It is nice, yes, I think the new view is nice too. Yeah, this is the VOC time, guys, exactly. Mm. 
decorations everywhere. The VOC uh, used to be our marine power back in the 1600s, which took over half the world, including Indonesia. So for all my Indonesians, this is that time. <laughs> But there's no Indonesian stuff here because it's between the Dutch and the Spanish. We will go to the museum at one, some point. But this was the same time. This was just before that time actually. When they got to a real power. What's up, Indonesia? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. VOC, yes, Verenigd Oost Indies Companion. I don't know the United, whatever, <laughs> how to translate it. Are there fireworks? No, but there are going to be things louder than fireworks, so yeah. stick with me. It's going to be really, really loud, so if you don't like loud noises, guys, I'd suggest... Uh, <laughs> I will warn you before it happens. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the English word for uh, cannons, but there are going to be blank cannons shot. Right and a left? I think it's behind the church. Okay, then we walk this way, keep walking there. Cannons, yes. Actual cannons, guys. Well, remade, probably repurposed. Thanks so much, Amanda. Appreciate the support. You don't have a cold? No. Surprisingly, I don't. Today is a beautiful day, so. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do it later. It brings back memories, excuse me. I don't know how old you are, but... <laughs> In a past life. <laughs> In a past life, maybe. Okay. 1627, guys. Trinity, thanks for the support. Appreciate you. Yeah, if you... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, in front of them maybe it's yeah. better. How old are you? Good question. Uh, you can hear the guys on their way to the battlefield. They're walking fast. We need to walk way faster. Yeah. So stop talking. Keep walking. You guys can see that. Sorry, I my screen is very low. Uh, we need to hurry. <laughs> they are walking way too fast. Yes, we are walking fast enough, guys. That song is not on YouTube. I think it actually is. There are old Dutch war songs on YouTube. But I'm not sure if this is old Dutch. Yeah, I think it's old Dutch. It's really hard to understand. It's not my army. They're gonna go left. <laughs> Just wait on the side, mom. You're not gonna make it. Mom, 
is trying to run in front of them, but they are really, really fast. You can see that, right? I'll turn around so you can see it. The army is uh, organizing. This was when Willem of Orange was alive, I think. Huh? Willem of Orange freed, freed us from the Spanish, so this was his time. The church guys also very important. The church supporting us. Yes, this is the time of Willem of Orange because he freed us from the Spanish. That's why there's orange in our flags. <laughs> That's why this event is uh, very popular and it gained more popular. Like in three days, there will be 30, 40,000 people here. And yet, yeah, the church. In that time, the church was. <laughs> often more richer than countries so if you had the support of the church then uh, you did well and of course there's a different church because the Spanish had a different kind of church this is not the Holy Roman Empire guys that's a different time 1627 Same place, bi-yearly, not every year, bi-yearly, so around the year. One year yes, one year no. Thank you so much Blue, appreciate the support. So sad there's no old Dutch sticker, really could use that one right now. Yes, armies are collecting, the war is... Well, the war was going on. The battlefield is collecting. Oh, they're really closed everything off. Yeah, we need to go left. We want to go to the left. No, go to the left, so I would go back. Is it the same in Friesland? I don't know how it was there. Here it's different. The weather is really nice. Yes, we're very lucky with the weather today. It's really good. <laughs> this is the east of the Netherlands, guys. This is Groenlo. It's close to the German border. And we are on the way to the battlefield. They will offer beer, I think they do, yes, but I'm not really a drinker, so. Thanks so much, Blue. Yes, the battlefield is this way. And uh, I will warn you before they start, because it's very, very loud. <laughs> Swords Knights, it's in between the uh, medieval times and modern times. So they do have sabers, which are kind of like swords. I, I, I don't know their official name in English, but it's a combination of muskets, which is a one shot weapon, and pistols, which is also a one shot weapon. But uh, reloading time would be like two or three minutes per bullet. <laughs> so in this time, they were very, very new. 
in this time, I mean, samurais in Japan were still uh, doing well. So all these people are on their way to the battlefield. And the army is on this right side. They're walking to the battlefield uh, in a different way. But you can hear the drums. For those that just came in, so this is uh, 1627. It's a war between the... It was a big war between Dutch and everybody else, but... Yeah, it's just a single battle, but... You're welcome to learn English with us. We have a free community for you to join. We are in Groenlo, Marsha, which is the city maybe 10 minutes by bus from where I live. So we're still very close. We're still very close. Thank you, Catherine, for the ghost. Very kind of you. So if you would like to see a battle, this is uh, your chance. This is your chance. Oh, the weather is so good. Before the battle, enjoy some flowers. <laughs> yeah, so I've only been to this event once and that was more than 10 years ago. So I don't remember a lot, more than 15 years ago. Yeah, the war was against Spain, so... So the summary is that uh, the Netherlands was occupied by Spain and um, the Dutch army was trying to take back the Netherlands from the Spaniards. And this is also the time where uh, Willem of Orange came up, so you know the orange color, that's where it comes from. This was the same time because he liberated us from the Spanish. So we owe a lot to him. Uh, turkey? Anyone? Dinner? Um, so that's, a sh that's the short version of the history. <laughs> yeah. 1627 and there will be a war. Got so far? Well, it's the Spanish and the French and uh, it's a lot of different people. Just uh, here or there, and it's gonna be full everywhere. Let's just do here. Turkish for Thanksgiving Day, we're Dutch, we don't have those. But the Flemish, we're Catholic and remain Spanish, I, it could be, I am not sure, but... Um, I do give English every day except for today. <laughs> today is not an English learning day. I also do not have the time to volunteer anywhere. Yeah. All my videos are free, live streams are free, so you're welcome to share those in your classroom. Also, I live in the Netherlands, so. A little bit of Dutch history for you. Uh, not in the south of Holland, I'm in the middle. Exact middle of the country. But we're close to Germany. So, uh, time to get busy guys, because this place... We are approaching the battlefield. Luckily we don't have to fight, we can just watch can't go this way i think it's pretty full yeah uh, <clears throat> yes just walk to the right side and I will introduce you guys. Give me a second. Because we made it to the battlefield. And uh, you will see what's going to happen. It's hard to walk, okay? Too many. That's too far, mom. You can't see anything if you go there. 
Ja, maar dat, ze gaan toch... Laat maar. You want to walk all the way to the other side? Okay, let's do it. And I'll show the battlefield in the meantime. So this is where they will reenact a battle between the Dutch and the Spanish. You can see the Dutch on this side with the orange in their helmets. The orange feathers to represent the Netherlands and they will be fighting on the other side in the middle to the others. <laughs> there are going to be some cannons so it's gonna be loud. Uh, that's how it goes. No need to complain now. It's not gonna change a single thing. Also here you can see the old, old Dutch flag because it used to be orange, white and light blue and then double. So you can see this for the specific army here. That's a pretty cool flag. I'll take that flag again. We can't go here. Closed off. There's no way through, I think. No, it's only for them. Mag niet. Nou, oké. Gaan weer terug. Oh, you can go through. Yeah. Maybe later when the army comes, they close it off. Yes, I'll turn on the brightness a little bit. I can't see a single thing. Zoom later. Nice, later. Ik zal hangen hangen alleen even voor de soldaten. Ah, oké. Are you sure about that? <laughs> the costumes are super cool. Zoom the screen, wait, I can't zoom while walking guys, that's gonna be too tough. But I'll show you. Yeah. All right. They are preparing, of course, it's a big event, so it takes time to prepare all of this. Yeah, I told you. What's up, Peru? Hope you're doing well. Let me show you the battlefield. They're not fighting just yet. So. Yeah. Uh, I'll personally go a little further. Fight is in the middle, probably. I'm tall enough, I'm gonna stand in front. Welcome guys, hi, hope you're doing well. So I'm just gonna show you uh, how it looks like. You can sit wherever you want, gotta have a good view, right? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, one more time for those that don't know. It is a battlefield. I'm not gonna fight, no. I'm tall enough, yes. I'm one of those guys who will stand in front of other people. <laughs> There are many people, yes, yeah, so we are on the other side of the battlefield right now. <laughs> These are trenches, yes. Trench war, guys. Trench war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When is it gonna start? Uh, it's gonna take a while, like 20 minutes. 
The soldiers are collecting, so there are already some soldiers on this side, behind the trenches and on this side. And in about 20-25 minutes they will actually start, so... If you want, you can look at me. Hi guys. How's the internet here? It should be alright. It should be alright. Why is TikTok shadow banning the live stream? Bruh. Um, beautiful place, indeed. Vikings? No. <laughs> It's a war. It's... I should probably stop saying the word. Maybe that's why they're not pushing the live stream. Mm, are they going to ride horses? No. It's a trench war. Horses are not gonna do well. <laughs> Where is it? We're in the east of the Netherlands, enjoying an event together. Give us a tour sometimes. <laughs> I always do. Welcome, I hope you're doing well. I'm from the Netherlands, where are you guys from? Nice weekend to you too, guys. I am not going to. No, these are professionals, guys. So the people that are um, doing these events, they come from like 12 different countries and they are professional. Uh, professionals in what they do. Like from all around Europe and even probably outside of Europe. Sweden, Finland, Norway, Germany, England. Everywhere. What's <laughs> up Indonesia? Hope you're doing well. I don't know if they're Indonesians, no. <laughs> you can learn English with us, our community is free. Just go to the link in my bio and you will find it. Not Spain, yes, also sp Spanish. I'm just saying a few countries. I don't know every single country. Of course, the Spanish are here. <laughs> Sub Colombia, hope you're doing well too. Somalia. And now you can learn English with us. Just go to the website learnwithlucas.com. This event is held uh, uh, bi yearly, which means one year yes, one year no. Bi yearly. It's not annual. Bi annual. <laughs> it's like bi weekly, you know? You can also do that for the year. Bi yearly. I do use Instagram, <laughs> Learn English Lucas. There is an event going on, but the battle takes time to prepare. I think it's about 20 minutes from now. <laughs> what is it with these fake English learners? I'm just gonna ban you because I'm pretty sure you're not. Um, I'm just gonna ban you. Up, there's number one. Where's the other one? You only spam the same message, so goodbye. <laughs> Oh, let's listen. Welcome to the Battle of Fraud 2024. Not the other guys, it doesn't start yet. Dutch, English, and he just, that was German. He's, he's gonna give an explanation. Also in English, probably. Yeah, so, people do this as a hobby. <laughs> Dan gaan we straks even bij stilstaan. 
Hij komt nog straks wel even op terug. You can learn English with us for free. No need to spam my chat. Already told the other people. Er is maar één kerk aan het begin van die tijd, de Rooms-Katholieke kerk. Tenminste, één kerk in Europa. En in die Rooms-Katholieke kerk werd het geloof in het Latijn verspreid. Er waren ook mensen die dat geen goed idee vonden. De monniken konden schrijven en lezen, de hoge heren konden schrijven en lezen. En het gewone volk kon dat over het algemeen niet. They are going to explain the history in English. I'll repeat it to you guys. Now they're doing it in Dutch. Later they will do it in English. I'm from the Netherlands. It is not cold. It's very warm today. It's not King's Day. Dutch is weird. <laughs> When they do the English, please tell me if you understand. She's not blonde, no, it's like dark blonde brown. You can't understand, I know. You should understand me, yes. He's explaining, he's explaining the history in Dutch. Later he will explain the history in English, so you gotta listen. Thank you so much, Rania. To summarize, he's talking about the religious reasons why it happened. Yes, I know. The armies are collecting. The battle is just 10-20 uh, minutes, I don't know. It's not a 15 hour event. But I hope you're doing well. It's not free to watch. No, you need to buy a ticket because it's very, very popular these days. In a few days, there are like 30, 40,000 people. Yeah, he's talking about religion. He says if you weren't uh, Catholic, Christian, then you were crazy. <laughs> I'm in the Netherlands, guys. Welcome to Holland. We are at an event. They will do a battle here in like 15 minutes. Right now they're explaining the battle. In Dutch. I think they're gonna also do it in English. Hi, are you? These are people that do it as a hobby. So all of these are professional players, but they do it as a hobby. So they travel around different countries doing stuff like this. You can see them in a the distance. Who's going to win? The Dutch. <laughs> Thank you for the follows.
Yeah, a piece of history can always be interesting, right? There is no Joost Klein here. Sorry. It's not cool enough. Yeah, so... History Channel with Lucas, exactly. It's a piece of history, 1627 guys. Almost 400 years ago. It's like a minor vol. I don't know what you mean with that. They look like in the movies, exactly. Yeah, these are professionals guys. They have done this for many, many years. Later, when we walk through the village, there's a spider on you. Later, when we walk through the village, you can see the spider? <laughs> there's a spider on my finger. We will walk through the village and you can see it. It's not King Arthur, guys, it's after that. A few hundred years later. But they look good, see, there's another part of the army. And in this time, the Netherlands wasn't called the Netherlands, it was, it was a plural for the Netherlands, which you don't have in English. But it wasn't one country specific, it was a few kingdoms together. He's explaining a lot of history. Do you want to see bloodshed? It might happen, yes. No, it was uh, the Nederlanden. Mm. Yes. No, I think those are the Dutch. It's all the orange. The flag, toch? No, it's a Nederlandse flag. Stuntman? Yeah, they're kind of like stunts. Oh, there are also horses. Somebody said it. something about horses. They will come by, guys. They will come closer. What do you mean about sympathy? <laughs> Hope you're doing well, guys. Hope you're doing well. Look at these horses. You recently found me? Good. Hope you enjoy learning with us. Where is Cinderella? It's also not the right time, guys. Cinderella is also a different time. Yeah, so there are all, a lot of uh, tents in the city center, that's also where they slept last night. Because it's a three-day event, so every day they do the same thing. But normally you go for one day. And they also sleep in a tent in the, in the village. I'm from the Netherlands. Soldiers, yes. S-O-L-D. Yeah, so this is a time where guns were new. So many people were still fighting with uh, arms. It is a historical event between the Spanish and the Dutch. A matter of religion, exactly. 
It was all about religion, this war. This is Pearl, this is not uh, Tinder. Sorry, wrong application. I'm an English teacher. Yes, Marsha, you know how it works. Welcome to TikTok. National identity, sure, absolutely. These days it's less important, but in that time. He's explaining all whole history in Dutch. Not really paying attention. No need to mute Trinity. No need to mute that. That's too much. I am outside, that's what I said I would do. Does the government come to see? I'm, I, what a weird question, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> this is a 30, 40,000 people will join this event in three days, so yes. It's a big event in this part of town. Mm. Thank you for the follow. Not the royal family, no, they have better things to do. I actually don't know what they do, but probably something else. <laughs> I am from the Netherlands, hope you're doing well. Oh, we finally finished explaining. Horses and knights, yes. Royalties? Royalties don't fight. Mm, cavalry. Cavalry Yeah, there are cannons also. Cavalry. <laughs> Medieval, uh, just after medieval, 1627. 1627. When something happens, I'll show you. Dutch, yes. They do this event by yearly, not every year, around a year. One year, yes, one year, no. Cannons and cavalry, yes, they will be here. We just saw the cavalry, they walked by. I don't know if they will be there with the cannons. Hmm. What they wear in use, I can show you if I can zoom in from here. Is the infantry. And the army is collecting behind this hill. They made this hill. The army is standing behind it, ready to go to battle. Here you can see some. The weather is very nice. Mm -hmm. That's what I said, it's the Dutch flag. Thank you, Blue. Hands up, are you ready for a party? Battle one on one? Well, yeah, it's one army against the other army. Or battalion, probably. Not the whole army, just the battalion. Thank you, Blue. He's talking about the army in Dutch, about things in the army that they use to fight in the time. You can hear some drums. It is a battle. Yes. Real life battle simulation. 
It's not a colonization of Indonesia, no. This is a fight against the Spanish. So it is the biggest event from that time around the world. This is the biggest event from uh, that time in the world. Hi right, guys, hope you're doing well. A battle is going to happen, a real reenactment. Yes. In about 5-10 minutes they will start. It's like medieval. No, it's after. Medieval is uh, the year 1000 to 1500. This is 1627. So it's after the medieval period. It's the period of exploration, guys. Same time as we went to Indonesia. Yeah, drumming, of course. There's a lot of music from that time on YouTube, from the Dutch uh, army time. You can check it. There are already some of them are walking here. Ready for battle. Hoorde je wat hij vertelde? No. Ze hadden geen kostuums. Ieder had ze gewoon een kleren. En als het dan slecht ging, dan liep het over. Maar de lege kostuums. Good idea. Ze moeten een stuk misschien eens willen laten zien. In de hoop dat ze de hoek willen leren. Het was toch een maatstrijd. En ze zijn nog steeds om geloof. Hey, it's a battlefield guys. We are really on the left side because the battle will be right there in the middle. But you can see the armies here at least from the back. Yeah. I think it's fun too, yes. Sun Lee is very quiet. There will be a minute of silence later. So be quiet guys. No talking in chat. Ladies and gentlemen. It's a really big uh, event. <laughs> it's one minute silence for a uh, war. You might have a bit of a war. No, no need. I've been long enough. It's still about belief. In all of all factors for wars. The event is called Battle of Coal in English. In a minute, the flag will be lowered. We'll have a minute of silence. Please yes, when this flag lowers, one minute of silence. There's the German for Trinity. Is it not heel Dutch? Is it not the Spanish flag? Ik 
There will always be a baby, guys. No matter if you are on an airplane or one minute of silence, there will be a baby. <laughs> that was one minute of silence for past wars. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the baby understood. <laughs> Troops are collecting. Maar de Staatsen weten ook dat Rennenberg in Duitsland zit. En hebben daar niet hoge troepen, helemaal aan de voorkant zitten, ook een deel naar achter. Ze moeten er namelijk ook rekening mee houden dat ze in de lucht aan gevallen worden. Maar er wordt voor ons de Staatsenkastorie naar achter uitgezet. En een van de dingen om te vertragen. Je is talking about war tactics, not important. Het is overgehoor op de boograam. When it starts, I'll show you the field. American GI, yeah. Let's not talk about that part. This is 1627, guys. <laughs> Translate, please. It's not interesting for you guys to know war tactics. They're gonna fight. <laughs> Yes, it's starting. It's like the scouts, the horses right there. They're scouting the battlefield. Yeah, so the horses are checking the are checking the enemies. Maar dit 
Yeah, the cavalry. Just a few of them to check. They're right there. So they check the enemy lines. Proceeding with the information. Sharing what they saw. He's warning us to not pass the fence. Mounted troops, yeah, cavalry. The paarden zijn goed getraind, maar ze kunnen goed ook nog ergens van steken. Dan moeten wij ook wel rekening mee houden. You say the horses are trained with cannon fire and whatever, but you gotta be careful. I mean, there are always crazy people, right? Mm. Yeah, so like back then, the cavalry right there is now talking to the, I guess, the boss, sharing information what they saw at the enemy, which is on the right side. And once, uh, you know, these things are through, fighting will commence. Dus er is kans voor de bang was die al. Het is toch wassen met dit rond. Het is te veel licht. Ja, ja ik heb veel te pras. Als ik hier voor in de, in de dingen ben, dan is het een stuk donkerder, dan is het heel snel onderbroek. Ik ben gewoon zo even aan de achterkant. Ik heb even snel een rapport gedaan. Stijgen af. Ja, ik heb een kusket ermee. Ik ben een zon in de rug. Ja. Ja. A rodeo? No. It's not. <laughs> It's starting to smell like fire. Yeah. You're waiting for the last cannons? They'll come. Don't worry about it. And if uh, the right of blue are Hi guys. We can do a bunny with a little bit. De batterijen zijn in luiken geopend. Voor de kanalen zijn bolletjes gemaakt. Dat een eventueel musket schot. De troepen daarachter die er niet kunnen raken. De deuren zullen de kanalskogel niet helpen. Ja, kan dat niet meer There you go. Good morning, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's the other side. The other side firing back. I think that uh, marks the start. Sheesh. <laughs> Okay. 
these are the muskets. They're firing, the small ones. <laughs> You can see their fire. <coughs> yes, and it's automatically really misty because of all the smoke everywhere. Yes, cavalry is uh, moving forward to attack and they're uh, firing with muskets right now. Oh, that's loud. Poor horses, they're trained to do this, so... You cannot do this with a normal horse. And then silence before the storm. It's really, really loud. It is so you you can feel the shock wave from the cannons, guys. You can feel the shock wave. <laughs> <laughs> They're aiming the cannons up, you know. They're obviously blanks. <laughs> There's another one. This one. <laughs> <laughs> that is some serious heat. These are cannons, guys. 1627. Yeah, you can feel the shock wave from the cannons when they are fired. There's an army coming forward on the right side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See here? Yeah. The army is coming forward. <laughs> Infantry. <laughs> Baby should be afraid. Opa. You shouldn't take your baby. <laughs> they already got it. <laughs> it's war, guys. Long pikes, yeah, so those are called pikes. Obviously when infantry is attacking, just uh, put the pikes forward. The army is about to attack. The Dutch are coming. They are in the distance, past the pikes. You can see the army uh, marching forward. Also on this side. They're ready to attack the Spanish position. <laughs> no, just a piece of history, guys. It's a historical event in town. You can hear the drums in the distance. 
the soldiers are coming. They're just walking. They're not running. They're just marching. Yeah. Cavalry in the back. There are the pikes. Pikes against the horses. So the horses cannot come close. Sheesh. Yeah. See, they're surrounded. The horses are attacking the infantry. But they're surrounding the infantry, cutting them off. So they're working, walking circles around it. They're circling around the army. Yes. That's why you have pikes. 1627. The armory is very cool, yes. These Spanish are just waiting. <laughs> They're fighting in the distance, yes. They're fighting in the distance. Thank you, Mavi. Now the pikemen, they're moving forward, you see those? They're marching forward. Opa. Cavalry is the other horses, guys. Mounted units. And now the other army is coming. The Dutch army is there. Look at that. Opa. De Spaanse commandant kan ik door dat de staatssecretary over een hoogte heeft hier. Maar niet veel haast om heel dicht bij de Spaanse staatssecretary te komen. The Dutch are not in a rush, he says. Yeah. He just said these Dutch, they're coming, but they are not in a rush to uh, go to war. They're chilling. <laughs> but they are on their way. Look at them. On their way to war. These outfits are really nice, though. Look at those. Later, you can see the outfits up close. The noise is serious, yeah, they're selling uh, earplugs and whatever. They're fighting, by the way, on this side. They are doing hand-to-hand -hand combat, but in the distance there. There's the other infantry from the enemy. Infantry coming, or the cavalry coming in. And they're literally fighting the pikes. Now they're on the backside. 
these horses are well trained. <laughs> You cannot do this with normal horses, guys. <laughs> Oof. Infantry is coming out. It's really hard to see. It's getting misty because of all the... It's getting foggy. But the infantry is going out. Collecting. Ready to fight the enemy. Yeah, <laughs> hand to hand combat. Right over there. Invading. Returning. Oh, the enemy is coming. The fight is about to start. Look at the pikes walking up. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> there are the pikes. Even with the drums <laughs> and the sword. Yeah. But reinforcements are coming. The Dutch. They're not going to be all right. The reinforcements are rushing up. They are fighting, obviously. We have deaths on the field. Bodies scattered all around. So the Spanish successfully invaded this part, the Spanish successfully invaded here, but now Dutch reinforcements are coming, so uh, they want to turn the tide. Left is Dutch, right is Spanish. Look at this, pikes against pikes. Pikes against pikes. That is a hard battle to fight. But be ready, because the musketeers are here, readying their guns. Because hand to hand combat is great, but. Uh, the reinforcements are coming. See, you see the muskets here. The enemy is right here, walking up. Fighting. Yes. Rushing back, the death. <laughs> the, the injured. The injured. <laughs> Hand to hand combat. Look at that. Sword spikes. Of course, medics are here. Yeah. 
here's the second part. Dutch reinforcements. So he said the Spanish were making good progress. But now the Dutch are coming back. They're not done. Pikeman! Pikeman are drawing in. We are in war. You get a bonus point if you can understand the language. Maybe you're from Poland? Something like that? Uh, yeah, because it was just not one country, it was very a lot of different uh, kingdoms together. No, but look at the flags. So, Forstendom. I don't know the English word for Forstendom. I mean, they cannot shoot straight, guys. It's a reenactment, not a real war. But there are more troops coming in the back. I'll zoom in. There are more reinforcements on the other side, joining. But here you see the enemy is right here. These are the Spanish, these are the Dutch. They're standing across from each other. They're already fighting in the distance. Here they go. Backing up a little bit. They're holding. The enemy is right here with muskets. Using support. First aid. It's a battle for Gola. Look at that. Hand to hand combat, shield, sword, drums, running. <laughs> chaos, guys, chaos and death. They're dying. But here are reinforcements. <laughs> Engage. Pike armies over the hills. <laughs> oh, cavalry is here. The Dutch. But the Dutch cavalry, the king probably or a leader. Okay. Uh, yeah, Frederick probably. Hendrik. Look at those. Sheesh. Dutch looking good. Here they come. Look at that. The Dutch, these are the leaders. This one with the trumpet, the leaders. They are guiding everything. They're fighting back the Spanish. Here are they surrounding the Spanish. And here they're still fighting hand to hand. Oh no, injuries guys, take your body out, they're not done, there are more reinforcements. Hand to hand combat, they're fighting, look at that. The drums, very important for morale, supporting. Slowly backing up, 
But look at that, they're getting surrounded. They're getting surrounded. The Spanish are trying to invade, but it's very hard. The pikes are ready to join. More pikes. Pikemen. They are returning from battle. Collecting. Ready for battle. The enemy is right there, they are inside. So the enemy has already conquered. They have already conquered this part, they are coming here. But look at this. Look at the Dutch army coming back. So the Spanish are right here, but they're getting surrounded. Dutch are here and here and there. Yes. Yeah, these are the Spanish. The Spanish are stuck in the middle. No, in the middle. The they're getting surrounded. The Dutch are getting back. They're getting their position back. The Dutch are getting back but the Spanish are right there the Spanish cavalry in the middle right there they're collecting the Dutch are reorganizing. More army is coming. They're preparing for the second battle right here. You can see the Spanish. Right there, these are the Dutch, they're preparing. Retreat! <laughs> the musketeers are right here firing at the Spanish, but they're preparing for a hand-to-hand -hand combat. It is all fireworks, yes. They're fighting hand to hand right here. It's a mess, it's a shiny, shiny mess. Shooters. Water, probably, support. Gotta keep morale high. I love the <laughs> Your favorite shoes, guys? <laughs> He's walking on Klompa. Wooden shoes. The Spanish have invaded, but the Dutch army is now surrounding them in the middle of this battlefield right here. Big battle going on. Here are the musketeers. Preparing for the second battle right here on the side. They separated. But it's not only the musketeers, look at this army here. They're all joining. Yes. Support is coming. 
but hand to hand is going. Look at them, hand to hand, they are dead on the field. The leader is coming once again. It's a chaos. The guy on the horse was like, get him out of the way. I need to go through. Let me come through. It's a chaos. Move. Move. He's telling them to move out of the way. Cavalry. There they go. Into battle. The knights. Shining armor. There they go, surrounding the Spanish with their horses. They're walking around the Spanish troops. You can see they're fighting back now. Positions have changed. Now these are the women. Women don't fight, guys. Women support. So they probably have water and those kind of things to support the troops. You can see them here. Because it, some battles could last very long. It's not just uh, 10 minutes and over. Here they go for another batch at it, hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's also happening in the middle right here. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Opa. Support is coming, muskets. Look at the red army right here, the Spanish in red, fighting against the Dutch on the left side, one to one, trying to stab each other. Aha! Uh -huh. Got him! Got him! Dirty Spanish! Got him! Oh! Get him! <laughs> Prisoners. <laughs> Spanish prisoner. Taking the Spanish prisoner. The other one escaped. They're preparing the hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Spanish are right here. These are the Dutch. Muskets to the Spanish. They are doing hand-to-hand -hand combat right here. Pike war in the middle. Drums are uh, live played. There are the drums. Behind the flags, of course. More muskets are coming in. This is definitely Farmer's Dutch. Welcome to 1627, guys. 1627. I can't see the enemy. Sorry guys, <laughs> I, I cannot see anything. 
but they're still fighting here in the middle. The Dutch are this side, these are the Spanish. The red flags right there, these are the Spanish. The Dutch are here on the left, pushing the Spanish back. The Spanish seem to be doing well. They got all the way to here, but now they're being pushed back. Now they're being pushed back. They're still finding hand to hand right there. So the Dutch are left. Oh, we have deaths on the field, people dying. Yes, this is the winning side, guys. <laughs> It is an exact reenactment. Yes, there we go. Fight is about to go down. The Dutch on the left, pushing the Spanish back on the right, literally pushing them with pikes. The Spanish are dying. I didn't want to show me a maid on this. The Spanish are dying on the field. In the middle they have this giant thing going on, fighting with each other. Support. Also very important. Water, drinks, support. <laughs> of course it happens. Yeah well, fights would happen for a long time. Women would be right behind them often. Up, uh. Coffee and tea. I don't know if it was coffee and tea, just water probably. The Dutch are setting up a position, the Spanish are still pushing. The Spanish are still pushing right here. On the other side, the Spanish cavalry is doing well. In the back there, Spanish cavalry is surrounding the Dutch. It is a struggle, guys. War isn't easy, especially in this time. There, the Dutch are pushing. These are the Dutch pushing to the right. I'm hearing people dying. See, he's getting stabbed. Opa. A lot of participants. I don't know the number. 1500. 1500 participants. Uh, 1500 from 18 different countries. Yes, also out of. Uh, yeah. Out of 2023. They come from all over the world. Yeah. They're fighting in the fog of war. Of course they don't hurt each other for real guys, it's a reenactment. <laughs> Look at this heavy hand-to-hand -hand combat. Fighting hard, the flag wavers supporting their side. The flag, if you notice, does have a point. It's like a pike with a flag on it, so they can defend themselves. Look at them, hand to hand on the right side. Musketeers are coming back. So these are, um, I don't know the English word, it's like smaller than a kingdom. It's like a forstendom, which is like a piece of a country. And those lords can, they have their own army. And it's a combination of those armies that makes their country's army. So in this time, the Netherlands uh, was made up of three very big, smaller kingdoms. 
with their own armies, so the armies are supporting each other. Principalities, yes, exactly, principalities. So this is the weapon of their principality. They're fighting hand to hand. I'm trying to show you as much as I can. Also, women and children, good education in the middle right here. But it's a very confusing war because they don't have a, a uniform uniform. They don't all wear the same. People wear different stuff. He says, so it's very confusing sometimes. In a chaos, you could be fighting your own. They're about to fight in the back here. When you see the pikes go down, these are the pikes with uh, metal points at the end. You see them go down, going into battle. They're fighting right here. Oh, oh no, he died. Fighting is heavy, losses are heavy. But the push is there, you see. They used to be fighting here, they were fighting here, now they're back there. So it's getting better. The prisoner with uh, someone from the church. Prisoner of war. Look at these people. <laughs> Tell them how sorry you are for your actions. Tell them how sorry you are for your actions. <coughs> left, forgive them. They both support the Spanish. Spanish prisoners. <laughs> Yeah, the priest is from the other side. So all of these people are from more than 20 different countries. They come from all over the world to do these reenactments. So they, are, they go back to reload while the other ones are in the attack again. But it's moving forward. He is praying sorry, he has been caught down on the knee, praying to God that they may survive. The Dutch will win this one, yes. This battle has been won, that's why it's the battle of this village. The, relax, so cruel, it is. Goodbye priest. <laughs> that's war guys, that's war. <laughs> Look at that push, they're still fighting. The whole army has moved forward, the whole army is here now. About 1500 people in the middle. Yeah, this specific year is 1627. This is 1627. He is going to get more prisoners, I think. <laughs> They, they occupied the village at this time, I think. The Dutch are coming to liberate. The armies are moving forward. I can imagine, it is a hot day. Look at these giant flags too, guys. These flags are... Easy three by three, three by four meters. It had to do with religion, guys. It had to do with Catholics. 
Yeah, he was explaining it. I, I didn't hear the whole story, but it had to do with the Catholic Church in uh, Spain. Dutch had a different belief. Take him. This is good for morale, of course. You had these Spanish prisoners. Feels like you're winning, right? When you have those prisoners. Goodbye. Goodbye, priest. <laughs> it's not a poor priest on the winning side. First eight, also very important, guys. It's a safe event. Support, water, and everything. Women supporting. Yeah. They are about to prepare for another uh, fight. He says it's very tiring, so they so they mix up, they mix up the fresh with the fighting ones, so they just rotate, right? Out are going here, new ones coming in, they rotate to victory. <laughs> in the meantime, though, the Spanish are still <laughs> there. There's a cavalry running around, Spanish cavalry from the back. See, they're attacking the Spanish front. The Dutch front linies fighting. <laughs> There's the Dutch cavalry. It's not a film taping, it's just an event, guys, that happens every bi annual. Rests are necessary, the fight is about to happen once again. Yeah. The Spanish are being pushed back. The Spanish are walking back right now. Backwards. They're pushing the they're pushing them back. So you saw at the start the Spanish were all the way here. They came into here until here. And then the Dutch came back, pushed them all the way back. To use the charger. Ja, denk je niet dat er genoeg rook is, moeder? Nee. Man, man, man. Maar ik heb genoeg accu Ja, ik heb een oplader bij me. Hallo. Ik ga je dan ook nog gewoon een stad opnemen. Ja. Dus uh, dubbele telefoonbatterij zit erin. Oh. Give me a second, guys. I'm, I'm adding. Connecting the charger. Ah. No, it's gonna be very busy. We're gonna stay safely behind the Dutch units. They're fighting in the distance, hard to see in the middle of the battlefield. Yeah. But these outfits are very impressive. The outfits are very impressive. Just look at this. These are the supporters. Obviously, they don't wear the armor. Yeah. Maybe leaders or the flag carriers, you know. The outfits are amazing, yes. So now the battle is moving that way. The battle is moving forward. So these are all Dutch. All these linies are Dutch people. They're lined up. So these are the old troops. They were just fighting, taking a rest now. And then the new ones are going in.
A reenactment is happening, guys. 1627. Right here. Uh, cannons are still being fired. You see the big ones with the orange on top? Those are the Dutch knights. In the middle of the battle. You can see the battlefield from the back. So, so the Dutch took everything back because they just lost it at the beginning of the battle. They lost it. The Spanish pushed all the way till here. But he said they just took it back. But there. Mm. There is still a lot of Spanish pressure. Old troops out, new troops in. Yeah, he says there's still a lot of pressure, but it is happening. I'm gonna walk this way for a little bit. Let me see if I can show you the fight. Right here, guys. <laughs> Let me show it to you. Oh, the troops were the Spanish commander. This one. Um, the troops have a Spanish commandant. They have a Spanish commandant. They have a good support. Here's the support. I will advance with them. I'll co I'll go with them. Right here, guys. We're right in between. The Dutch. The Spanish. Well, they're stuck in the corner right here. The Spanish. But there are deaths on the field, so they need to uh, reorganize. Yeah, they got one of the Spanish leaders imprisoned. They got one of the Spanish leaders. See, these are obviously uh, some Dutch leaders. Spanish in red guys, Spanish are in red on this side and the Dutch are on this side, many different outfits. Spanish retreating, they're pushing. Blood, fighting. Reorganizing the musketeers right here. The blood everywhere. Yes. 1627, guys. 1627. So they're slowly pushing forward. They're ready with a new batch of people to fight. Muskets. Muskets at the ready.
They're preparing their muskets. Close your ears. This is the Dutch against the Spaniard. Spanish. Some of them died on this. Yeah. So they're reloading, you can see how long it takes. So to reload, you put the gunpowder in, then you put the metal ball in the bottom. Oh no, you fill it up with something else at the top. Push it down, metal ball, and then yeah, you push it down, and then you uh, can fire. There they go again. Close your ears. <laughs> a few back. Not many, just a few back. <laughs> The Spanish are retreating. The most, the most of the Spanish they returned way back there, but he says some of the Spanish trying to keep the valor of the fight. They want to keep their honor, so they're still fighting here. A few Spanish, not many. Here you can see all the Dutch. Yeah. Easy to Spanish. <laughs> Here they go once again, hand to hand. Pikes. Hand to hand combat. Up. Uh. Nobody falls. Uh, yeah, he he pretty dead. The Spanish are still trying. They're still pushing. There they go. They're over the edge, but here support comes. From the back. You see the Spanish are attacking right on the hill here, but they're getting surrounded by the other Dutch forces. And that's how you get obliterated. The Dutch forces coming from the back, taking no prisoners. Spanish are retreating. Death. And they just continue pushing. Victory! Victory! <laughs> there are no foreign armies left. Armies are lining up. Now, what I was trying. 
Mm. He says, the battle has been done, has been finished. the Spanish are retreating. It's not done. The they're not done yet the show is not done they're just reorganizing for the final battle is that what he said i don't know he said it's still a few minutes Armies are organizing. So all the way back there too, just organizing. <laughs> These outfits are really good. Yes, green flags. Like I said, it's just uh, from the principality. This is how they used to dress, yes. Yeah, th so this is all Dutch. You see the king right there, or the leader on the horse. Yeah. I think they're preparing the final uh, attack because the Spanish has be, have been driven back all the way. Because of English cavalry at the Spanish side, something happened. Uh, but they did well. No, in this time the king would be leading the attacks on a horse. In this time the king was the leader of the army and he would uh, oversee everything on the battlefield. Nowadays they don't do anything. It's not a harmonica, it's just a flute. A few Spanish left. They're looking for honor. That go to armies marching forward. Where the sound coming from or from the drum and the flute player? That is about the end of the fight.
Yes. We got people from United Kingdom. So these are all 1500 uh, reenactments. A piccolo, not a flute. Okay, I don't know the difference. Czechoslovakia. They are now introducing where all the people come from. So we had some uh, from Britain, we had some from America, from Czechoslovakia. Scotland, yeah. He's naming them one by one. So that's where the reenactments come from, where they come from. Yeah, there are some Scottish reenactors. Germany. Uh, Polish reenactors. Mm. Not in that time, just the reenactors now, that's where they come from. They are like groups of reenactors from different countries. Check. They're chilling. Introducing all the actors from different places. Yeah, you guys can clap. I'm holding the phone. Can't clap. These are all the reenactors. Yes. Spanish reenactor from Spain of A lion flag, yeah, that's the Dutch flag. If there's a lion on it, Italy, reenactors from Italy. You can see how many there are. Yeah, our our national animal is the lion. Switzerland. Yes. Camera guy, Switzerland. Uh, Luxembourg, Germany, yeah, maybe camera guys here, guys, pay attention, you might see him. Spaanse kans voor groep Groen met EPB mee. En uit Engeland, Wexstaans Company, Blue Regiment en de Kees Regiment of Food. England. United Kingdom. 
Ik dank u voor uw aanwezigheid. Op deze prachtige dag. Wilt u weten hoe het eindigt met de stad Vroor? Dat u het nadeel in de geschiedenisboeken. Maar ook morgen nog even komen kijken. What do you guys think? Good event? Thank you Valeria, appreciate it. Yeah. There are more things to see. We'll walk through the village to see some things. There's a church with some history in it. We'll walk by so you guys can see it. No, that's too much. It is an interesting event, absolutely. Mm. It's a really good reenactment. It's the biggest one in the world for this time period. So 1627, it's the biggest one in the world. Yeah, we can see the rest up close because they have all the decorations in the village with everything. So we'll walk by that, we'll walk by it. We can go now, I think. Let's go here, take a left, follow the people. There you have it, guys, a battle. On a Saturday morning, a battle. <laughs> Yeah, it's a piece of Dutch history, and I think uh, history makes, you know, now, us today, so it is interesting. What the Dutch doing? Well, they just did well on this battle. They pushed the Spanish back at least. Don't know if they won. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this battle. But the war was quite long. I think the war was until like uh, 35, 1635 or later even. So for many more years. But Willem of Orange was coming up. Hi guys. Thank you for the follows, that is how you learn free English every day. Also appreciate the support. I gotta say thank you Blue, I appreciate it. Nee, helemaal niet. Willem would be proud. <laughs> yes. That's why they're wearing the orange, Willem of Orange of course. At least we have a lion as a national animal, it's also a good animal to have. And I'll show you in the village what they have because they it's not only here but it's everywhere in this village they did the decoration. And we're really lucky with the weather, yes. Why is it a lion? I don't know the history of that. But I think a lion is really cool to have. Better than a panda as in China. The slogan of the flag uh, the flag is uh ik hostel and ontkom. Yeah, I'm not gonna translate that. <laughs> King of the jungle. Yeah, we have no jungle in the Netherlands, but... The roar, right? Here, you can see it. The line is on the flag. Do not speak any Spanish, no. Not 15,000, 1,500 guys, 1,500. I'll show you one more time, we're walking by. Let me walk on the left. I'll do it in a selfie mode. There, you can see them. Spanish checkpoint. <laughs> it's a really good event. Still need a 
charge wound. <laughs> carnival? No, it's not carnival. <laughs> Almost. Nice. It is a good activity, so yes, absolutely. Is it the lobby? Yeah, so he say it's people's hobby to reenact these things, so they travel all around the world to do this. But especially here, this is the biggest event from that time period in the world. So in three days, 30 to 40,000 people come here to watch this event. Yeah, this year probably more again. All right, we're gonna go back into the village. It will be busy everywhere now, but we're walking back into the village. Nice seeing you too. Pride. The lion is a symbol of strength, power, and national pride. If only we had that these days. There's not a lot of pride these days in the Netherlands, I feel like. Like, if you would ask me to fight for my country, I wouldn't do it. I'll just tr go to Indonesia. <laughs> I'll just make good friends. Mm. Let's go. Good idea, right? Yeah, I knew you liked that idea, guys. I knew you would like it. <laughs> There's nothing specifically bad in Holland. It is just that this kind of feeling of, of you know, being proud of your country or you know, this nationalism isn't really big in the Netherlands. No, that's not bad. These days it's not. Mm. But I think it's an interesting thing to, you know, show a little piece of history to you guys too. Even though I just am here to teach you guys English. I can also do that. Too liberal? I don't think the Netherlands is too liberal. <sighs> Thanks for the follows, I at least appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed the battle. How loud were those cannons for you guys? How loud were those cannons for you? Because uh, my ears need a rest. <laughs> it was really loud. Indonesia, chill and relax at the beach, exactly. That's the idea. <laughs> Not much, no. So those cannons are easily uh, 110 or 120 decibel. You can feel the shockwave. Because even though they're using blanks, still has a comparable pressure. <laughs> It appeared the first time on the tomb of Philip, the handsome representative. <laughs> yes, Philip the handsome. That was the first time they had the lion. Interesting. Very interesting. Of course, my pleasure. So we'll walk a little bit around to show you more up close stuff and relax, yes. This cannon is part of this village, so this is technically a city, but this is the decoration in the city. This is always here. You gotta sit down sometimes, right? I'm in Europe, hi. <laughs> we'll just follow them. Oh, there's a fence on this side, can't go there. It's all this way. 
What's up Venezuela? Hope you're doing well. So if we can, we'll sit down somewhere, have some coffee. Thank you to Blue Support, we can get some coffee. <laughs> I think it's very nice too. I will upload this whole live stream in one piece. I just need, I will mark the timestamp. So when the battle starts and the end of the battle, so you guys can uh, see it. I think it's exciting too. So you want to walk this way or that way? I know, but it's not an answer. Mm. We'll just go this way. <laughs> This city is called Groenlo. G R O E N L O. Groenlo. Yes, G R O E N L O. Resting tents, tents for the people that reenact. They sleep here in tents. No, probably not. <laughs> It's not tulip season, guys. There are no tulips here. Ask me again in January for tulips and I can show you. Yeah. That's useless. How's the cat doing? The cat is doing the cat. It's a cat, guys. I know, I know. They're weaving. And he is making uh, wooden shoes, guys. Your favorite. He is making wooden shoes by hand from pieces of log. <laughs> the famous wooden shoes, exactly. Famous wooden shoes. Mm -hmm. And they're using these older machines. They're making a tool. It's one of those toys for kids. No, it's okay. Okay. A lot of things to see. Yeah, craftsmanship, exactly. This, these are all craftsmanship uh, places. It's very busy now, yes. <laughs> I'll show you what they cut. Copper pots, pots pans, small cannon, more copper. Accessory store, sure. It's a normal village, guys, but at the same time. I just showed you the traditional shoes, the wooden shoes. We'll see them again, I'm sure. It is very nice, yes, it's a real event. It's a full weekend of events. Oh yeah, probably not a good thing to show. Yes, a place to sit. 
we will find them. more weaving hey, knitting, knitting. My mom wanted to go to the, it's called the World Store. <laughs> it has stuff from all around the world. All right. It smells nice. Eh? Yeah, it's stuff from all over the world. Catch you out of lead in America. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my mom came here to buy something. So this is made all around the world. And it's sold here. So a lot of things from, this is East India. Stuff from Africa. A lot of things you can uh, buy here. Almost a duck, guys. It's almost a duck. Owls. Interesting, guys. We do have here a chicken. Do I have a chicken? <laughs> Miffy? Miffy? <laughs> yes, we'll find him. Lulu? No, it's called Miffy. It's a Dutch, uh, very popular Dutch thing. Dutch cartoon character. Yeah, there's decoration everywhere. Look. Yeah, you want to walk to the right? Yeah, now we can never die. Trying to find a place to sit down. I'm gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna go to the brewery. Good place to drink, guys. Place to drink. Chess? Oh. Chess, it's the other one. I don't know the English word. Mm. Too noisy while well, we are in the middle of a village. Uh, you can turn your sound down. You can turn your sound down if it's too loud for you. Jacob de Gay. Things from here. In wood. Mm. Yeah. No decorations. Army. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Tu jesteśmy dla dzieci teraz Tak, to jesteśmy do ciku dla dzieci. Czek? A ma ona szkale, a co ona It's like a game corner for kids, guys. A lot of older games. Polite army, that's true, they're very polite. Diagon Alley, kinda. Kinda looks like Diagon Alley. Yes. <laughs> and that's about it. The hell do I have more? So they hung the flag. Yeah. The Spanish flag. What's up, Scotland? A one store, not the right place. Not the right place, sorry. <laughs> Take the cable out. Butterbeer? No, this is not Harry Potter, guys. This is real history. Not fake Harry Potter. Sorry to tell you, Harry Potter is fake. Thank you, Amanda. I appreciate the support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the decoration are really, really good everywhere. Good decoration. Ja, dat is wel een show. Ik ga geen plek kan vinden. Ja, ik ben ook wel van op een bank. Bloed! Photoshoot. No, it's just uh, how it looks like for three days. This is the second day of the event. Tomorrow is one more day. But we decided to go today. No. Like, just uh, how this is built. Very nice. Yeah. Decoration. These buildings are normally not here, guys. They're all just put here for the event. <laughs> well, like a warm. I think you can buy food here, but it's not going to be particularly good. Wouldn't be particularly good, no. Made it to the other side. No, no. It is new, yes. Uh-huh. They have a lot of stuff everywhere. My mom is right here. I'll show you what I can show you guys. Sometimes I can't show you everything. Rules.
Rules and regulations. Yeah. So the reenactors. Walk here. The reenactors will uh, also sleep here. Also import. <laughs> Little market. Mm. It is very nice here, yes. These are the camps where they sleep for this event. Here's some uh, clothing <laughs> from that time, very nice. Yeah, that's for the people who yeah. has this as a hobby so that they can buy their clothes. Yeah. Here you can buy the clothing. It is really cool. Ropes and cloaks. Zoe! Zoe, come and see Zoe! Do you want to buy one of the world? Yeah, I'll say what you It's the market. Swords. Hey! Fables. No, uh, not necessary. I don't need a sword, I think. I should be alright without one. Yeah, it's the market. It's not like an an it's not like an antique market, it's more like a they just made it in that time, yeah. This is a hobby for a lot of people, you know? The reenactors mostly do it for fun. With mm. a lynx and a lynx, thank you. Here's another one of those or cannons. This is the normal decoration, those cannons. They're always here. You choose mother. You choose mother left or right? This is the only club in the area for children. <laughs> this is a club, yeah, like a night club, but it's the only one close to here. The church is open. I am at the church. Guys, be quiet. It's the Protestant church, yes. Mother needs to sit down, take a break. Softly, guys, whisper, whisper in the chat. You can see the paintings. Let's see if I can show you.
Look. Hands painted. Smell like church. Uh, Christmas. Yeah, Christmas coming soon. It always makes me think of Home Alone. You know that episode, Home Alone? First movie, he goes to church. It's Latin. <laughs> this is made of some sort of glass. <laughs> Don't need a filter. The art is incredible. I'm not religious, but the art is incredible. <laughs> you wanna confess, guys? This is to confess. You wanna confess something to me? This is your chance. Let me show you. These are the original paintings. It tells a story, obviously. I don't know which one, though. And it's old to Dutch, by the way. The writing is not modern Dutch. This is old to Dutch. This one is easier to read. Taken from the cross. This is when he got that down from the cross, you know? He passed. Taken from the cross. Yeah, an architecture like this was incredible. Because they made this by hand, right? No electrical machinery whatsoever. This was made without electricity. Remember that. I'm not here to confess anything. I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm asking you guys if you want to confess something. Must be intricate. Yeah, it is. This is the back where we came from. Let me walk by this side and show you. To paint those? Yeah, of course. By hand? It's not easy. <laughs> you need a professional. <laughs> it's the story. Of course. But do you see these? Glassworks. The color is really hard to get right. Wait. Can I change the lighting? <laughs> I'm trying to give you good lighting, but it's hard. Yeah, mosaics. I'll show you the name of the church at the end. Who knows this instrument? Do you know the name, guys? Do you know the name? Also, a weapon. It's not a harp. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Let me walk through. A spear? I don't know the English name. I only know the Dutch name. What is the English name? Where did mom go? Did she go outside? Oh yeah. Mother is walking outside. 
weapon. This, guys. This is a weapon. This is an instrument. Weapon. Army is walking by. Let me see if I can see when the church was built. Good timing, guys. Good timing. I can't see my screen. It's They're going back to the camp. There's one more day tomorrow. They have one more day tomorrow. But they're going to be the whole night. Yeah. So they spent the day and the night in the camp. Was that a sword? Yes. Welcome to 1627, guys. Here are more of them, a few more. Yeah, tomorrow they got it again. I won't be here, but... So they had it yesterday, today and tomorrow. It's a festive event, yes. Well, it's about a war, but... Still very festive. Sure. I was checking what the, what the... Oh, I cannot pronounce that. The name of the church, it's hard to pronounce. Calictus. Calictus, Calictus Church. It's a really weird name. Yeah. <laughs> how how do you know it's Catholic? Is it because of the gold inside? <laughs> yeah, this is typical Catholic. Yes, Protestants don't have such things in their church. No, because they. And you see the cross. They also have the thick tower. Yes, and when it's a cross yeah. on the roof, it's Catholic. Otherwise, it's a it's a ham, a cock. Yeah, cross means Catholic, and you can also see that the tower is much. Uh, thicker than the Protestant ones. They are much thinner in general. Catholic Church. It also has a Latin name. Yeah, because we never come here. <laughs> yeah, mom giving you the details. Not the yeah. So what do you think? Not bad, right guys? Not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad at all. Uh, peace be with you. <laughs> I'm from the Netherlands, nice to meet you guys. Sorry, I've been holding the phone for a while, my arms are getting tired. <laughs> I think it's very interesting. It's always nice to see something different, right? To see something new. Old, new, old and new. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Injured Spanish soldiers. Of course. Old casino. It's for hire. Do more like this. Well, this event is once every two years, but if I have an opportunity, I want to show you more. I think this year, at least, we'll still go to Arnhem 
to the museum from Indonesia about the colonization. We'll still go there, that's the plan at least. Oh, look at that meat, guys. Let me live in 1627, no vegetarians in that time, just meat. <laughs> Thank you very much. The tas is open. The tas is open. The underkant. Make a choice. You want to sit somewhere? Where can you sit? No, just check it out. Makes you feel hungry? Me too. <laughs> But I'll eat at home. Got a lot of food at home, so. No need to eat now. Oh. Rolls is from 1615, so it was, it was only eight years old <laughs> at this time. Gulls, guys, is a, is a Dutch beer brand and it's from 1615. So this is all in the style of 1627. So, so that's a 12 year. Nou, goede decoratie. Gewoon bladeren op de grond. Ja, leuk toch? If it works, it works. Allemaal uh, Ja. Lekker. Look at me, guys. What a... Oeh, baby. Oeh. Oeh. <laughs> Let him go first. When do we end? Within 20 minutes I'll end. Is it far walk to the bus station? Not that far, 5-10 minutes. Beef or pork? I don't know. Meat, guys, it's meat. Couldn't tell you if it's beef or pork. <laughs> Heineken is also from the Netherlands. Yes, cappuccino. Also. Those are the two bigger brands. Bring a girlfriend? No. I don't think it will be 10 times more fun. Because you've got to be interested in this kind of stuff, guys. If you're not interested in history, then for many people, it... sun can be quite boring. Sorry, guys, this is sun. Yeah, better go to house. I think that we're going to find a good place to find. We kunnen wel die andere kerk nog in. Hier. Ja. 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 Food and drinks. Yeah. Sheep, guys. It's your family. Here's another church. That's a church. Nay. It's a church that's not a church. In the Netherlands, over time, a lot of churches got empty, like unused because we have less religious people so now this church has been uh, changed uh, 
Uh, it's just like an event kind of thing. Don't stand in the middle of the way. Yeah, and you gotta buy coins, so not a another thing. Though. It's too complicated. Not worth it. It is modern, yeah. In the Netherlands, I think um, since 30 years, it's about half the churches in the Netherlands are just empty. They're not used anymore. So they even made a windmill to put here. Yeah, ja, gaan we door. There's your windmill. Enjoy. Ja, goed stukje vlees. That's how it used to look like, guys. Too many things to see. Ah, belasting. Ja, ook nog. <laughs> Belasting dienst. <laughs> Texas, guys. Texas. I don't know which movie it is, but yeah, now we're back here. All right. Not Texas as in the country, guys. Texas as in T A X E S, Texas. Like you gotta pay taxes. What? They have already seen. Anybody wanna buy wooden shoes? This is your chance. I'm not gonna do it, but. What? You don't buy them here, you buy them in the factory. No? Nobody likes Texas, everybody likes taxes, yes. Indeed. That is how it goes. I'm not gonna buy souvenirs, no. I live in the next village. Oh no. How much are they? You don't wanna buy them here. There's a Dutch factory for export which has the real ones. These are obviously faker. Not good quality. It's a different village, yeah. it's the next village, it's about uh, 10 minutes with the bus. <coughs> it's the end. Can only go to the right. Okay, then we do that. There doesn't seem to be a good place here. We can wait at the bus station, you can check the times. <laughs> yeah, there's a specific factory that exports them, guys. I don't know the name out of my head, but let me ch let me check the bus in the meantime. The preferred thing for what? For food? Well, you can check it if you want. Hope you're doing well, guys. Thank you at least for joining today. Hope you have fun. I know this is not an English class like normal, but you'll get one again. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, though. Since today I'm already walking around, so... Maybe tomorrow I'll introduce the books to you. Then I gotta ha Then I need to work very hard tonight. <laughs> but I am making progress. I think I can finish the books by the end of the day and then record them tomorrow.
I'm just checking the bus. We are happy to have you guys, of course. Good to be part of the community. Sorry for the sun. Oh, I got pass on over a half hour, 25 minutes. Let me show you some more guys of the people. We'll see what we can talk about tomorrow. Is a reenactment of the hospital? Hello. It's an event. I don't know. I can't see. Yeah, I can do. <laughs> oh, it's taking care of like babies. It's like a old style hospital. <laughs> Definitely a big place, but I think everything is coins. Okay, let's go to the bus. Yeah, the bus will be here in 25 minutes, so we have time. I think we can go this side. Coins means you need to. Uh, I don't know if that's. Oh no, here you can just buy it without coins. Yeah, but it's really busy. For example, if you want to get some food here, there's a whole queue here. So I'm not one for waiting. Oh. Oh my god, I'm too tall for this! Uh. I am too tall for this. Definitely. It is a good event. It's definitely a very nicely organized event and I think for the price you pay it's definitely doable. I think it's just because of the amount. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, we can see a bird guys. Eagle. That is a real one. It's not in Utrecht, we're in Groenlo right now. G R O E N L O. Huh? G R O E N L O. A bold eagle, guys. America! And they're doing this on an old cemetery, by the way. Talk about Halloween, guys. It's on an old cemetery. <laughs> oh. Exciting. And there are some other birds. I can see an owl. If you look very closely, you can see some other birds. Yeah, that's a bold eagle. Yeah. Here they also have a. They're holding a small bird. <laughs> Oh yeah, the wingspan is very wide. Look, this is an owl. Yeah. A little bit more, very nice. 
meer op de hoofdstraat, maar zijn hoofd zou je droog. Just walk away, don't have any matter. The toilet is also this way, so if you want to. Head week, yes! It's a head week, guys. Not a brown head week, not a white one. <laughs> Spamming my chat, goodbye. Block and mute. Ah, you think I'm not paying attention? I see everything. I see everything. It is. It, the sign said this way for the toilet. Yeah. Of course, there's always more encampment. We have 20 minutes for the bus. Here's some more of the encampment where the people sleep. So they are here for three days, maybe four nights. They just sleep in the tents right here. It's where they do it. Decoration. It is a really cool hobby though, let's be honest, to have a hobby like this. Yeah, I would like to have it. Casper doet dit soms ook. Reenactments. Uh, it doesn't say where the toilet is. I'm gonna bet it's this way, but it could also be there. Okay, then we're going richting the bus station. No, 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 I'm gonna drop all this kit in the car, yeah. Is that for rent? No, so these, te these are just here for the reenactment uh, this weekend, those tents. They take the tents, these are professionals. Also, it's a lot of them, it's their hobby to do it. It is not cold outside. I'm walking in a long sleeve t-shirt. So it's very doable for me at least. Talking in Dutch with a Scottish accent? I haven't heard that, no. Hmm. Well, clearly the wrong way. There's another fence here. Another encampment. Yeah, you can see all the countries there together in uh, in these encampments. These are the British, I guess, and the Scottish too. Here you can see all the pikes and whatever. It's really nice. No? Well, that's the only way you can go. There's nothing else. Emergency exit. No. Just normal exit here. Or go back there. It is a nice park, yes. We'll walk through it, show you the encampment, and that should be the last part of this live stream. Because we're getting close to uh, leaving. <laughs> Comfortable. Oh, look, that's a lot of Oh, absolutely. It's a great hobby. Yeah, very great. But it's an expensive hobby because you travel a lot. And then the clothes are very, very expensive. So they're just here this weekend, not always, guys. But they also sleep here, yeah. No, they are just done, so they leave it all around. Sit together, have a good time. It's cool being able to travel everywhere.
Yeah, you definitely took the back route. <laughs> yeah, we pulled out a new door. No, we had yeah, to go yeah, left at that point. No, now we have to walk the whole park. But it's a nice park, so. Yeah, I hope uh, you learned some uh, English listening from this. <laughs> I hope it will be great, yeah. You can find a toilet. Close to the uh, main exit where we're going now was also a toilet. Yeah? Yes, we walk by one. Okay. We are walking towards the bus right now. We're at Jay, we're at the end of the live stream. We've been live streaming for three hours now. <laughs> you are too late. Um, Up there. Yeah, we have to go back to the main. More encampments. So they're all around the town because this is the main. Uh, this used to be. This used to be the city wall. Used to be the city wall. You didn't get a notification, you know when I live stream, don't lie. <laughs> I was live streaming at the same time. <laughs> it's okay, you can watch it back later. You can watch it back later. This is a really quiet point. Good place to sleep. Yeah, that was a fit smile. 1627, guys. You can't take your bike into. Nee, maar dan. Oké, ja, ja. Ik moet je papa vragen. Dat weet ik niet van. Oké. Het is Alex. Het is voor Alex. Ja, ik denk dat het oké is. Ik zal het doen. Oké. 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 Oké.